Good evening, Asante Awards. Uh, shout out to my frat brother, mentor, and friend, Ron Wallace. Uh, congratulations on this award. Uh, we're grateful to the uh, Asante Awards and the Mexico Black History Organizing Committee for making sure that, um, that, uh, that our history is acknowledged, especially our living history, um, while they are still here to enjoy it and, and they're bathed in their recognition. So we're so fortunate that uh, we have this opportunity to honor you um, to your face. And so I am thankful uh, to Kathy for inviting me to share a piece to uh, weave in your legacy, uh, what you mean to us as a community, what you mean to me personally, um, into the longer legacy of uh, black publications and what that means to, um, to the black community at large. So uh, this is called Freedom's Journal for Ron Wallace and uh, happy Black History Month and uh, Black Lives Matters Day from Silver City, New Mexico. There is something poetic about a black man bleeding all over the page in black ink for his people, sweating bylines in black ink for the people, tear by black tear for our people, a mirage of sorts, sanctuary in part for a displaced tribe in a frontera called Judah, a people one desert removed from pharaohs, a legacy of Egyptian features and faces. Plenty of walls, but no hieroglyphics to call our own. Ron Wallace, you are a symbol, cultivator of code, gave us native tongue to call our own, gave our language a home, a journal, a hush harbor of sorts, a place to put all our free things, like dreams, like desires, like dialogue, like diary, like devotional, like decide. A way to map our community hearts and minds. A North Star to write love letters to years after our right to read and write was no longer a crime. Our Sandia Defender. Years before you gave our community a new perspective. A beacon of gang intervention. John Marshall Service Center Director. A walking resource of services to low-income families left otherwise hopeless, only to return 10 years later to resurrect Black pride and give those very same families a statewide focus. You've been our man of the year for years, but too humble to ever put yourself on one of your publication's covers. And long before NBC, New Mexico, PBS, and KUNM, you helped get me started in journalism by taking a chance on a brother. You are the Alpha Phi Alpha man the rest of us look up to. The star student athlete not afraid to take a knee, raise a fist, or read a book. In fact, you do us one better and publish us too. There is something revolutionary about a black man bleeding black ink all over the place, sweating a love of labor, a body of work all over this place, crying our history, our present, and our future all over the place. Thank you.